It's been quite some time since I made a computer vid with actual computer visible in it. So tonight we're going to do a nice quick down and dirty rundown of my IBM XT and its connection to the internet. And of course the first thing you might wonder, or the first thing I'm going to probably hear from someone is, Mike, that does not look like an IBM XT. Of course not, it's a clone chassis. I don't have an XT case. If anybody has one they want to part with, uh, feel free to make me an offer. And of course I have the original XT keyboard, an old Microsoft mouse, and an NEC multi-sync EGA monitor run into a VGA card which has EGA output on it. Now let's go power this up the good old classic way. There's a power switch in back. Clink. Nice positive action. And let's get her started booting up. And the first thing you'll see on my computer is there's a VGA BIOS. And um, this is 256K Oak Technology VGA or OTI. The board's a 256K maximum board from 1984, 83-ish. But mine has been upgraded to 640K by me. It involved soldering a jumper, adding a multiplexer chip, and replacing the memory chips. And as you can see, it really takes its time counting up memory. There's quite a lot of this video going to be spent counting up the RAM. There goes my SCSI adapter. My hard drive is a 60 megabyte Seagate. ST277N, which I uh, ripped out of a Macintosh SCSI drive enclosure. Um, it's formatted to the FAT16 file system, 60 megabytes. My, and there it is listed under host ID, under the ID of 7. A really funny revision number. Now we get to watch for the uh, Telltale MS starting MS DOS logo. There it is. Now I get to look at my autoexec.bat. On all my old computers of this age on back, yeah, let me see if I can get the right one. I'm trying to get the right knob. It's very hard to do when you can't see very well. Anyway, um, MS-DOS 6 and higher all have this multi-boot config feature. Let's start with the first one, which I'll let you see the text first. Anyway, this is clean boot. That's my diagnostic one. Second one here is regular. Third one is for my LAN. The fourth one is internet mode. And I was using the IRC config to do some diagnostics earlier on. So let's go into internet mode and see what it looks like. There's my packet driver loading. Now, we get to the fun part. We get to input the directory for this thing. I'm going to have to turn on my light to see. That's a pretty creative directory name, I must say. And we'll start with the way I surf web pages on this uh, cantankerous old beast. And I turned my light on for a reason. For a reason. Um, as you will soon see. And here it is loading Minuet. You can see my hard drive is really working hard on this one. Pretty fast for an XT. I think my hard drive is shoveling information faster than the computer can read it, which is very funny when you think about it. So you can see, yes, I do have a mouse, and all the telltale signs of a uh, minuet have come up. And never mind these uh, refresh traces.